burning of fossil fuel is the primary cause of the current climate change, altering the Earth's ecosystems and causing the human and environmental problems like the global warming and the air pollution. Solar energy is derived by capturing the radiant energy from sunlight and convert it into heat, electricity, or hot water. There is limitless supply of solar energy, meaning it could beat the fossil fuel with the future. The popularity of solar power worldwide is increasing, and the industry can be exceeded 20% by 2026. There are two main types of solar energy technologies, Photovoltaic PV, which can be produced electricity from solar energy directly, and solar thermal PVT, which can be generate heat and electricity. There are some problems by facing the solar PV system. When the surface temperature of the solar panels get higher, due to the ambient temperature or high radiation, the solar panel efficiency can be reduced in a significant way. PVT collectors combine photovoltaic solar cells, which convert sunlight into electricity, with solar thermal collector, which transfer the unused heat from the PV module to a heat transfer fluid. By combining the electricity and heat generation within the same component, the technologies can reach a higher overall efficiency than the PV or the PVT alone. Our project system consists of from PV and PVT modulus, pumps, and tanks. In order to evaluate and enhance the performance of our system, we needed to decrease the modulus temperature, as we mentioned before. So we tried two technologies which are the nanofluid as a heat transfer fluid and PCM for the heat absorption. Nanofluid is defined as a fluid that contains nanoparticles. They are primarily used for their properties as a coolant in the heat transfer equipment, such as heat exchangers. For our system, we prepared nanofluid through mixing the desired amount of the nanoparticle, which is the multi walled carbon nanotube, with the dusted water and two different volume fractions. We used 0.01% and 0.05%. We syndicated the sample by using the ultrasonic device. And by this process, we utilized the ultrasound energy to mix the nanoparticles in the polymer mixture. Paraffin wax which can be considered as a phase change material, can act like a battery, but for heat energy. Because it absorbs heat energy, at it melts and can be recharged by cooling it until it crystallizes and gives the stored energy back to the environment. We choose two PCMs in our system, with two different melting temperatures, the RTHC35 and the RT47. For our project, we designed two aluminum blocks, to store two different PCM and insert it in. We use the aluminum foam inside the blocks in order to maintain a good heat distribution through the block during the PCM melting or certification. In addition, we added five locations for the temperature sensors. What you are seeing now is the process of preparing the blocks, starting with the block manufacturing, inserting the aluminum foam, and we wanted to be sure that the blocks will be flat, so we added a weight on top of it. We placed the sensor and we added the PCM. There were two different techniques to melt the PCM, either the direct melting or the hot bath. After adding the PCM, we installed the blocks on the back side of the PV module and connected to the thermocouples. Here's our system as you can. We did many experiments to evaluate the reduction of temperature in PV modules among the used technologies. And we found that the using of the multi walled carbon nanotube with the two different volume fraction as a heat transfer fluid can reduce the PV temperature by around 40 Celsius. On the other hand, using the PCM for cooling the PV can reduce the temperature only by 5 to 7 Celsius compared to the reference PV. As expected, the power enhancement was the most for using the water and nanofluid, and they improved the power by 50 to 60 watt, more than the regular PV. The PCM was observed that it improved only 30 watt. The United Arab Emirates has an advantage by having a good amount of radiation. It takes significant steps to develop a renewable energy industry and reduce the CO2 emission. 
Our main objective was to improve the PV's performance and its efficiency, and we successfully provide an enhancement by using these techniques. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to participate and be part of this competition.